Imagine if you were taught quantum field theory personally. Professor Thomas Gaidasik of Vilnius University gave a five hour overview of the key ideas specifically tailored to John Harland. In this introductory segment, we talk about the reasons why we want to learn QFT. John has been exploring how quantum physics could be thought of as a projection of classical physics. He is encouraged by his calculations in the setting of quantum mechanics. And now the challenge is to understand how his ideas would work in quantum field theory, where we include special relativity, we treat space and time on a more equal footing, and we allow for the creation and annihilation of particles. John and I met as graduate students in math at UCSD. We both have bachelor's degrees in physics. Three years ago, we started studying quantum physics together over Zoom. I have developed a combinatorial alternative to the wave function based on orthogonal Scheffer polynomials and their fivefold classification, which I relate to five causal zones, whereby every effect has had its cause, but not every cause has had its effects. And there's a critical point for deciding. I'm interested how that carries over to quantum field theory by way of Wick's theorem and Feynman diagrams. John recently visited me in Lithuania for the first time, and our mutual friend Thomas agreed to teach us. Thomas researches neutrinos, uh, extending the standard model, and uses and teaches quantum field theory as the language for particle physics. He tells us that quantum field theory is simpler than quantum mechanics, is more restricted and more predictive, allowing for only a limited choice of potentials. I apologize for the poor bootleg quality of this recording, but I'm glad we could preserve this, include you in our Math for Wisdom community. I am Andrus Kulikowskis. This is Math for Wisdom. What is the expectation of you that what you want to learn? I think, yes. that, I think what we wanted to ask you to yes. give us a primer on yes. quantum field theory and what do you think are the are the main uh, signposts? What are the main what are the main um, ideas from your from your personal different. point of view, what yes. do you think is important? And I know that many, you know, you can't do the details, right? I mean, we're just, yeah. And, yes. and, uh, and I've been through it before. I took a course and I've yeah. read, sort of read bits and pieces of books. Yes. I kind of, um, you know, I've seen Feynman path integrals before. Not that mm -hmm. I've never computed one. So because I've never computed one myself, I have zero facility with it. I have zero ability to reproduce it. But, um, I get the flavor of mm -hmm. what you know how these computations are done. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know a little bit, you know, yes. I know a little bit, and I, of course I know more quantum mechanics. I'm good at mm -hmm. quantum, you know, I'm pretty good at quantum. Yes. Uh, and um, I know some relativity theory. Uh, yeah. So you could treat me like a grad student, um, and treat me no, like a grad student. And no, I can treat you more like a grad, more than a grad student. Okay, more than a grad. I Maybe someone who's been through uh, the qualifying exams or something. Uh, Probably. And yes. I've seen the Dirac equation. Yeah. I kind of know the basic elements of it. Mm -hmm. Again, I, this is my next goal. You found it? Hmm? You found it? It was? Yeah. My next goal is to have more mastery of the Dirac equation where it's you know something I, I can, I can yes. scribble down on my own. But, um, you know, so I know the main, some of the underlying ideas. Um, but from your point of view, what mm -hmm. what you think is important? Uh, would be very instructive for me because um, I'm on a path where I, yes. I feel like I should learn more of this. You know, I am interested in the foundations of physics, and, and yeah. this is extremely relevant because, as far as I can tell, quantum field theory is the most, you know, it's obscure at the or at, at the foundations. It is the most successful computational edifice ever created in physics. Oh yes. No, yes. Yes. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's in terms of computation and then trying to do measurements according to them, yes. I mean, without a doubt, it is. It is. And it is, it's, um, it's used on a different name in statistical physics with the same success. So maybe, um, but the way I look at statistical physics is that, okay, okay, I'll, I'll take your word. On, on your word, I'll, I'll yeah. uh, statistical physics. 
Good. In terms of the explosion of ideas and mm -hmm. predictions, it seems like quantum field theory has more. I'm not sure that that's the case. I think it's, it's, physics, difficult, have... it's, it's difficult to see what is now the explosion and what is just taken with a different name from a different field. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's. So maybe it's yeah. because I don't know quantum field theory, it's a mystique, and I, yes. I have a better grip on statistical mm -hmm. physics. Yeah. I mean, to me, to me, statistical physics, the underlying idea is there's really only one idea. You yes. have you have an entropy. You you have a you maximize uh, yes. you maximize entropy under constraints. That's yes. I mean, that's the basic idea with so, quantum field theory. I try. Yeah. I think. I think the basic ideas are not that much more complicated, and I will okay. try to tell them. Right. Okay. But I will start first okay. with quantum mechanics and how do we do it. And and so yeah, I just came in, uh, uh, and I want to hear how you uh, present quantum field theory. And you've presented me a little bit in this way. Maybe it's maybe like, yes. Uh, and so this will be more it makes sense to me seeing it the second time. Um, from my point of view. I'd like to understand quantum field theory in terms of calculating Feynman diagrams. So is is that, anyways, I don't know if that'll fit into your picture or not, but that's... Um, yeah, I mean, they're a small part, and they're not really of the concepts, but Feynman diagrams you have even in other areas too, not only in quantum field theory. I mean, it's just representing in a graphical picture what you should calculate. This is a and, so, and so the S matrix, um, would be establishing those things to be calculated? That or is no? more complicated. <laughs> okay, that is more complicated. So a Feynman diagram is really, in that sense, straightforward. You have a picture, you picture what you want to calculate, and the picture is then the handle for those who know, okay, I have to do this, 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 this. A simple picture shows all. This is well, and that's, but that's one, term in the, that's one term in the expansion, right? You know, for every term no, in the expansion. That's the method. That's one method, but it's a method for calculating individual terms. Like you'll have a calculating as many terms as you want. You, and, you but have each to one make will... more and more diagrams right. to represent what you want to get. And so to do the whole, uh, the S the S matrix sets up the whole of it. Is that right or not? Uh... In some way, but depends now how you define the S matrix. Okay, <laughs> and then to define the S matrix. Uh, you have to understand the physical problem you want to be setting up in, in terms yes. of like a creation and annihilation operators. Or? That helps, yes. So that's just to say like what I would like to do. I'd like to maybe say, here's starting from creation and annihilation operators, how you get to the S matrix, how you get to the Feynman diagrams, how you make, you know, how you relate uh, to the vertices of the Feynman diagrams, the things you're going to uh, calculate, and then just how you do the calculation. Yeah. That's not... Uh, but that's I think that is too, to some extent too specialized. This is what uh, a book, a script, a course can directly give without getting to the ideas. Right, but I have my own ideas, so I just yes. need to understand. Okay, so that's w so I, I can but do this I on my own. But tell my ideas <laughs> okay. about quantum field theory. What okay. I think is essential. So this is what I want. So I probably won't be. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll see it from a more mature point of view, but um, your point of view. But um, and so. Uh, John wants to take his uh, understanding of quantum physics and set it with regard to the mm -hmm. direct equation and to special relativity. In and, and so is that basically... You can also understand, maybe not be an expert at doing computations in quantum field theory, but to know what it is, you know, mm -hmm. to know what the deal is in quantum field theory, uh, to know enough about it so that I at least have a conceptual model of mm -hmm. what it is doing, why it's different than just standard quantum mechanics and you know what the difficulties are like uh you know there's some there, there, there's some uh, difficulties in quantum field theory that are that are famous lots of them yes and um to understand like to interface to look over that landscape and see mm -hmm. why that you know the computations might be fraught or maybe uh lacking of a lacking of a solid uh, foundational underpinning. So that's mm -hmm. that's kind of work. Yeah. And just to say for people who may be viewing, but in terms of maximizing entropy, which you both said was essential. So uh, biophysicist uh, Jerry Northrup, uh, who we know and is active, like for him, that's absolutely everything. Uh, and he has this Goldilocks maximum, you know, 
so that just really resonates with how he's thinking about uh, absolutely everything. But so to, it's nice to see that so central. Uh, and when you said in statistical physics, what you're talking about ha is the same thing under a different name. What is that name? What is it I mean, called? What do you use in statistical physics to calculate anything about a phase transition, for instance? Okay. You need an order parameter, you have to define it, and then the order parameter behaves like how you would calculate quantum corrections for Feynman diagrams for a process. Hmm. An order parameter, what does order mean there? Order means, for instance, that you have something that can communicate over a certain distance, where you can see how far the signal reaches. And this would be like first order, second order, third order, or powers, or...? or... Depends how you write it up. Okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you for watching this video. Please uh, go to mathforwisdom.com or simply read the description to this video to learn how you can join our Math for Wisdom discussion group and our study groups. Thank you for liking this video, for subscribing to this YouTube channel, and for supporting Math for Wisdom through Patreon. I signed up for Math for Wisdom. You should too. All you do is you go to the website, Patreon, type in Math for Wisdom, two or three minutes later, you fill out those things, boom, you're a Math for Wisdom supporter. Do it. I did it.